Carl, uh, the Wanderers to come tomorrow. What's uh, the team looking like with uh, all the ins and outs? Yeah, the, the squad's um, travelling along very well at the moment. Um, you know, we've had a, a very good run. We had, you know, even though last week we didn't get the result we were after, the performance was, was there though. Um, so very happy with the performances of the players at the moment. Um, and, you know, it's important again tomorrow night at home um, that we get the result. Uh, obviously we'll be wanting to bounce back from the Mariners game last week. You've had a sort of a few runs where you've had a couple of wins in a row and then obviously this long winning run must want to make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah, it's about um, having that consistency and, you know, I think we've got that now. Um, and I think the football we're playing, especially the last, you know, four or five games, has been excellent. And, you know, the players are still very confident. Um, we've had a very good week on the training track this week and the, the boys are really looking forward to playing Western Sydney Wanderers tomorrow night. You know, it's, um, you know we've got three games in eight days against teams that are going to be up there in the finals at the end of the season. And in terms of the injuries, I think James Delian will return to training. Is there anyone coming back into the side? Yeah, so Ryan Kiddo is now you know, fully fit. Um, you know, Tommy had minutes last week as well, so we're, we're slowly getting everyone back. Um, you know, it's disappointing that we, you know, we're missing um, Jakobsen and Harvey, but um, you know, other than that, um, we're looking pretty good. Is Tommy ready to start? Um, yeah, look, it's, he's, he's getting... Um, He's getting better every week. We've given him a lot more time. You know, I think we, we pushed him a bit hard at the beginning of the season, but now we've given him time to get, get himself right and get those, um, that con the condition that he needs to have to play in the A-League. And with uh, former Cassini as well, you've got a bit of a battle forming between them two. Yeah, that's excellent, isn't it? Um, you know, Cassini's form has been outstanding and we hope that he, he can keep that form going ahead. Um, you know, it's, it's great to have that um, um, option to, to play players in different positions and, and to be fighting for positions in the starting 11. That's what you want as a coach and that's what you want as a playing group, that you want players pushing each other to be in the starting 11. And uh, in goals, Joe Gouch had another really good game last week, saving those two penalty games, uh, two penalties. Uh, are you expecting him to sort of be looking to hold on to that position one, even once Delhi not comes back? Yeah, look, you know, James is still maybe, most probably um, a week, maybe two weeks away, um, you know, at the beginning of the season, James was number one, and you know Joe's come in and has done a tremendous job. Um, and we will uh, look at that when James gets back to full fitness. We'll have a look and see what um, is best suited for the for the squad. I was strained the other day about uh, the soft tissue injuries he had. He had a lot of hamstring injuries as well. Um, he just said that it was a, a luck thing. Do you agree, or do you think there's something more to the reasoning behind that? Um, yeah, look, it's, it hasn't been great. We've had uh, more injuries than what we would like this season, which is very disruptive. Um, and it's something we're looking into. We're always looking and, you know, the medical staff are always checking and the conditioning staff are always having a look as well. And it's something that we need to make sure that we don't get too many more, um, in, pick up too many more injuries going for the rest of the season because we need our best players on the pitch if we want to win the championship. And another thing Ryan said is about uh, James Troisi. Coming back, his first game back in the long since leaving. Uh, what sort of a big, uh, reception are you expecting him to get? Yeah, I suppose the fans uh, were disappointed what what happened. But you know, James is is a true professional. You know, I, I can't have any complaints of what he gave us when he was here. He worked extremely hard. Um, um, so you know, you know, he's on the opposition now. So I expect um, you know our supporters to give him um, him a little bit of stick. Uh, like he, I expect them to give all the Western Sydney Wanderers players a little bit of stick. That's um, you know what we do with away teams that come here. We make it difficult for them. I think uh, Bruce was also a bit disappointed with the way he left. What did you make of that situation when Troy left? Just sort of a couple of times? yeah. Look, it's you know um, you know I think James was more after a long term f um, contract, and Western Sydney were prepared to offer him that, and that's you know. That's what it is in football. Um, you know, I have no complaints. Um, he's looking after himself and, you know, we move on from it. And your relationship with him now is still good? Did you speak to him when you... Yeah, look, you know, as I said, I have no issues with James. When he was here, he, he trained extremely hard and, and was, you know, a true professional. So um, I have no issues. You know, he, as I said, he's done what he thinks is best for himself and he's moved on. So we've moved on as well. And, you know, tomorrow night, you know, he's an opposition player. They're only a couple of points behind you now, I think, and can jump you with a win. What do you make of them? Yeah, look, they're a very good side. You look at the, the you know, the, the amount of quality players that they've got. You know, you know, they have three or four players that sit on the bench that could most probably start in nearly every other team in in the A League. So they're a very good squad, and and it's important to, tomorrow night. You know, 
I think um, we've shown the last you know, five, six weeks our pressure on the ball has been exceptional and that's w which has allowed us to control a lot of the games and tomorrow night will be no, no exception. You know, we're going to go out and put them under a lot of pressure and, and try and play our brand of football. And in your defence, obviously, with Harvey still out, you've had Cavallo playing a left back, now you've got Jakobsen out. Is it Timothy who's sort of the obvious choice to come in? Yeah, he's, you know, the... He came in for Jakob earlier in the season and did exceptionally well. So, you know, George is, you know, left to step up and, and perform.